Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Edge channel. The head of the promotion company Queensbury Promotions, Frank Warren, shared plans for 2022 for his ward, the British super heavyweight Daniel Dubos. According to Warren, Daniel will return to the ring early next year, and they will consider the candidacy of the regular WBA champion, American Trevor Bryan, as a potential opponent. The boxer also plans to become a mandatory contender for the championship title in this version and meet the winner of the rematch between Britain Anthony Joshua and Ukrainian Alexander Usyk. The winner of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight titles, Alexander Usyk, said that he drew attention to Anthony Joshua's fatigue after their fight. Alexander Usyk said that at the moment he is focusing only on the upcoming rematch with Anthony Joshua and doesn't think about other potential rivals. Undefeated Ukrainian heavyweight Vladislav Sirenko said that a few years ago, when he sparred with Alexander Usyk, who was performing in the first heavy division at the time, he realized that, that his compatriot could loudly declare himself in heavyweight, promising Ukrainian heavyweight Vladislav Surenko said that he considers Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua to be the best fighters of his division. Former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua is currently in Dubai, where he is actively training in anticipation of news regarding a match with the Ukrainian boxer Alexander Usyk. Recently, a video appeared on the network where you can see how an American specialist Anthony Wilson helps AJ. Under his leadership, the Briton worked with weights and also worked out blows to the body. Recall that on September 25, Joshua met the undefeated Alexander Usyk in the ring. The fight took place in London at the stadium of the Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. The British heavyweight consented by an anonymous decision of the judges losing the world champion titles in the WBA, IBF, WBO and IBO versions. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. The head of the promotion company Queensbury Promotions, Frank Warren, shared plans for 2022 for his award, the British super heavyweight Daniel Dubos. Daniel will return to work in one of our first tournaments in 2022. Last year, he did an incredible job and is moving towards winning the championship title next year. The WBA is an obvious path for him, since he took the first place by winning the temporary title and the fight with the regular champion. Trevor Bryan is what we are streaming for now. A victory over Bryan will give the opportunity to become a mandatory contender for the winner of the rematch between Joshua and Usyk. So there is a lot of work and big fight ahead for Dubos. The year 2022 will be the sea for this young man. I have always believed that Daniel was created to reach the top, Warren said. The winner of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight titles Alexander Usyk said that he drew attention to Anthony Joshua's fatigue after their fight. Of course, my team and I pay attention to body language. My team members are watching this and analyzing it. We are trying to make our observations work. I noticed that Joshua was tired after our fight. I noticed that his behavior before the first fight with Andy Ruiz. He looked strange. But I don't know why this happened. Perhaps there are some internal reasons. I don't want to think about them. Did Joshua put his hands on the ropes when he was introduced before the fight with Ruiz? It wasn't that unusual. There may be different reasons for this. I was more surprised that he seemed distracted and was chewing on a mouth guard. That's what I 
found strange, but everyone behaves in their own way, Alexander Usyk said in an interview. The WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight world champion Alexander Usyk say that at the moment he is focusing only on the upcoming rematch with Anthony Joshua and does not think about other potential rivals. My life has changed, but my rules are definitely not. I still live by my own principles and standards. As for recognition, yes, that has changed. After defeating Joshua, I was in several European countries and a lot more people came up to me. My psychological state was good both before and after the fight with Joshua. I also knew what I was working for. I was moving strength toward my goals. Of course, this may change. That's how it works. After the victory, people can change their opinion about me. However, before the fight with Joshua, I felt that I will just keep working on my preparation. Maybe I want to fight Fury or Wilder, but right now I'm concentrating on rematch with Joshua. If I win four belts, it will be a very loud statement on my part. I don't care if Joshua is ready to fight. Alexander is ready for any type of fight. Of course, Joshua will change everything. Everything will be new, Alexander Usyk said. Undefeated Ukrainian heavyweight Vladislav Sirenko said that a few years ago, when he sparred with Alexander Usyk, who was performing in the first heavy division at the time, he realized that, that his compatriot could loudly declare himself in heavyweight. I sported with Usyk when he was performing in cruiserweight. I understood that there was a very fine line between cruiserweight and heavyweight. I realized that in the future he would definitely try his hand at heavyweight. You know, Usyk is so mobile and fast that it will always be a problem for big heavyweights. As we can see, he has enough strength to compete with super punch like Joshua. Therefore, he has everything to be successful in this weight category. At the time, I understood that he would definitely be a problem for any heavyweight, but none of us could even imagine how big, Vladislav Serenko said. Promising Ukrainian heavyweight Vladislav Serenko said that he considers Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua to be the best fighters of his division. At the moment, I think that Tyson Fury, Joshua and Usyk are the three top heavyweights. If we talk about prospects, I would probably say that these are Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubos and Jared Anderson, a young prospect from the United States. He is a very difficult fighter, I think he should show a good result. Who do I think is the best in heavyweight? I do not even know. It's very difficult for me to choose. I would probably mention Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk at the moment, but personally I am very impressed with Joshua's boxing, so it's not easy for me to name one particular person. They are all cool in their own way. It is very difficult to mark one person, Serenko said. As you hear, the promoter of former champion Anthony Joshua assures us that we should still wait for his worst rematch with Alexander Usyk in April 2022. In fact, nothing special is happening yet. The only thing is that everyone needs to get together and decide on the date of the fight. In April, it is quite possible to arrange everything. AJ is already used to entering the ring twice a year, but sometimes it seems to us that it is possible to hold one more fight. There are offers from arenas from all over the world, but I am inclined to believe that this event will be organized in the United Kingdom. We need to discuss everything with Alexander Krasiuk and after Christmas we have to start doing something, because time is already running out. According to Eddie, their site no longer plans to think about the possibility of concluding a deal with the payment of compensation. Not so long ago, rumors were circulating that Joshua could, in case of compensation, refuse to fight with Usyk in order to allow him to meet Tyson Fury, but representatives of the WBC intervened in the matter, appointing Fury a mandatory belt defense against Dylan White. Of course, the possibility of compensation and similar ways out of the situation was considered. Therefore, we must wait for now. But it looks like it's an extremely unlikely outcome due to the situation with Dylan White, which AJ is very happy about. 
Joshua did not even want to discuss it. Now he is determined to do it his own way. Do have a rematch with Alexander Uzik, said Eddie Hearn. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.